Hi and welcome to Run CNC at Home. I own this um, RF45 clone milling machine for a couple of years. It's made by Optimum uh, and the milling machine is called Optimum uh, Optimal MB4. I'm quite pleased with this machine but um, it has a weak point and there's something I really don't like and this is the joint between the base and the column. The mating surfaces weren't machined very well and uh, this causes some instability in this screwed connection. I check both mounting surfaces against my straight edge and this showed me that the uh, mounting surface of the base is crowned and this doesn't give a proper connection to uh, screw the column on. So I had to fix this. The method I chose was to trim the mill with some epoxy compound uh, made by Diamant Polymer. Stefan Gotteswinter published a video on his channel with all the details. Um, I wouldn't say he invented the method, but I want to give him credit and uh, say thank you, Stefan. First I dismounted all the uh, obstructive stuff for my machine. But hold on, before you do this repair you have to put on your Gotteswinter glasses, otherwise it won't be a decent fix. Why am I that look good looking? Just kidding. Okay, uh, I changed the bolts, the screws uh, for longer ones. So I have uh, some more space uh, under the column. With a wooden block uh, in between, I uh, s bolted or I strapped the um, head onto the table and secured uh, the head with a wedge against the ceiling. Now I was able to lift the column with a head adjustment. Be safe with your fingers, Marcus. Some de-oiling with brake cleaner. And some foam to prevent the epoxy to flow away into the base. Some coating with wax spray. Maybe I want to separate the parts once again. Same for the screws. In difference to the stuff uh, Stefan used, I use DVH 310P. P um, means pasteurs, uh, which is a German word for pasty. This is more easy to process than uh, the liquid one.
you can easily parse the compound onto the surface. In the corners I put in some copper wires which will be squeezed down if uh, I bolt down the column to the base uh, in the process of tramming. Now I could lower the column back to the base. some extra coating with some oil. Now I had to trim the mill. Um, you are in a hurry because um, processing time is only 50 minutes and uh, this is really exhausting because you have to uh, lower and raise the head uh, a lot of times. If the needle doesn't move anymore, you achieved the goal. But uh, if you do this for the first time, I really recommend to practice a, a little bit, because otherwise you will get into timing problems. Same for the other direction. And that's it. Now you have to let the epoxy cure for about 24 hours. The next day I tightened the screws and I checked for squareness. I'm quite happy with the result. Uh, the squareness is in the range of uh, about 20 microns uh, over the whole table. Finally, I did some uh, milling tests 
and the uh, machine I think it feels more rigid than it was before. I can't recognize or feel an edge with my fingernail. Finally, I think this fix is a success. And uh, I want to say thank you for watching and see you. Bye.